Yeah, let's uh, let's go record somewhere else today. Brandon, what, what are we going to do today? Record some video. Where? Downtown Dixon. That's right. It's gonna be a great time. Yeah, I'm looking fun. forward to it. Me too. Good. Sounds good. Good. Sponsorship initiative that you want to start here in Dixon specifically, right? Uh, in the area, locally. Dixon, locally. Salt Valley. Salt Valley, yeah. Illinois area. Yeah, that's where I'd like to start. I'd like really to start, start it out there, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of uh, initiative or sponsorship are you looking to do? So, I'm a I'm a big advocate of getting people into IT. I, mean, I think everybody knows that. Everybody knows that I'm really big in trying to encourage people to work in IT, to take interest in the field, and to encourage them that anybody can do it. Like that, That's very important to me, that's a, a mission of mine, a life mission, a life goal, something that I, I take a lot of pride in and you know, I, I love to do. Um, so with that, one of the, the big things that there is kind of currently a, a push for is to get more women in IT. and. The reason I think for that is um, is because, from what I've understood, and I'm not trying to speak for anybody, of course, um, that a lot of women see it as a male-dominated field. But I think a lot of women are, um, from what I've heard from them, is that they're you know a little bit intimidated by that, and it could make for maybe sometimes an uncomfortable work environment. And I've received comments, you know, in regards to that. So. That's something to me that I, I, that actually upsets me. And I take a lot of, uh, I, I kind of take offense to that in, in a way because I, I don't want anybody to think, and especially women, to think that they can't work in, in IT because there's a lot of men in the field. Um, that is very discouraging. You know, that's like, you know, that'd be like you telling me like, hey Zach, you can't do YouTube. You can't do YouTube because it's it's dominated by young kids. You know, like that's. That doesn't make it right, and that's not fair. It could be true, but that doesn't make that doesn't mean that it's it's right or that you know anybody's any different. I think uh, you know you might say that with your initiative to try to help people get into IT, the people that are already interested, already acclimated to technology, um, motivated and otherwise accepted into that industry, the way that you may stereotype those types of individuals. We want to help them. That's great, and that's gonna. That's a big part of what we want to do. But for the most part, they're doing this already. On sometimes on their own, they'll still need advice. Hopefully, that we can help offer, and we'll support their path when they run into stumbling blocks or need more information. But the people that we might be able to help the most are the ones who may be excluded or feel excluded from the technology IT community from those types of careers because there isn't uh, much representation for them in that, that field right now. And we may be able to do the most good trying to help people in general who don't feel like they have access to and were never thought of themselves as being in IT careers or even technolog technologically apt or, or proficient. We see that one of those groups of people that is underrepresented in technology fields is women. This is something that's commonly talked about in popular culture and society that, that women don't have access to the same types of jobs that men do in many different ways, and, and IT is just one of those. So if we can help someone, we think that that would be a good way to prove that this is for everybody. This is, if we can help um, anyone that comes from a segment of, of the uh, community that would feel disadvantaged in coming into this industry. We want to give them the confidence that they can do it, and um, they don't need any more advantages than it is their, their belief in themselves and access to the, the resources that we're going to advocate and the path to, to, to work for, to get down. Yeah. One of the things is I've, I've been doing YouTube for a while and getting a lot of comments from women and stuff and and just kind of paying more attention to the, to the overall field. It's weird for me to see how how much of a, of a difference there is between genders in this field. And it really struck me by surprise, like how deep it actually got and how 
you know, prevalent that actually is in today's society, society because every single IT career that I've worked, we've had multiple women in the department. So I've never, I've never run across an instance where it's been completely dominated by men. Um, so for me, it's just something that I've always, I've always experienced. I've always, I've been used to. Again, I go go back to comments because I'm just referring to comments that, that women have given me and things that they've experienced and things like that. But every single thing that I've done, my counterpart who happened to be female, same thing. No, you know, there's no, there's no difference. You know, and I don't want. Uh, that's the thing I think that makes me so crazy about it is that there's no difference and. Um, one specific comment that I got from a woman uh, was that she went in in an interview with a with a man. She she interviewed with, you know the, the the man was a manager or the, the manager was a man. Sorry, and um, he was giving her a hard time by the fact that she was a woman. You know he was basically saying like why do you why do you want to work in this field? Like you're a woman, you shouldn't be working in this field. And um, that that really upset me and I actually did like a live stream after I saw that comment just to talk about that because it, it, I was so distraught by that and there's a big reason behind this like I'm not just doing this and saying that I want to do it and I'm interested in it because of you know the fact that we need more women in this field and because there's a lot of people trying to do this as well I have two daughters and I don't want anybody to ever tell them that they shouldn't be doing something or they can't do something because they're women right like that that's upsetting to me that is very very discouraging and I don't I never want them to to experience that so for me I think a part of this the big push behind me doing what I'm doing is because because of the fact that I have daughters and I'm gonna I'm, I'll always encourage them to do whatever they want no matter what and I wish that everybody had that same type of um, that same type of encouragement in their life. So I want to give whoever I can that, that same that encouragement if I can. So by me doing the sponsorship and trying to get you know women involved, I feel like this is like my small little part to to help um, with this initiative. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, in, in conversations that we've had before, I don't know if you've shared these um, in any of your prior videos or messages, but part of your story in coming up in IT, one of the people in particular that helped facilitate your career was, was really pivotal in your success, I think. Uh, would you agree? Yeah. And so, I mean, when it comes to any career, I think, um, or any path we take in life, there's the go your own way, and you know, like they say, if you go by yourself, you might go faster, but if you go with a group, you're gonna go farther. And um, I think that on those paths, whether they're careers or otherwise, we're always looking for coaches, the people that really wanna try to succeed and get farther down that path. And I know that's what I look for in, in my decision making is someone to kind of give me the encouragement and the confidence that I'm making the right decisions because they put a foot on that step before. And there was somebody like that for you, I think, that that helped coach you along and that you may, I wouldn't uh, hesitate to say, have a debt to. Would that be right? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, could you tell us more about, you know, your experience in and growing in the industry and who who that coach was for you? Yeah, so it's it, the the first, well, it's actually the second school district that I worked for, um, which happened to be like, this was like the most pivotal role that I've ever taken in my career. Just taking that role made, uh, there was a lot of changes that happened from that, but I worked with uh, this lady, Catherine, and she was, um, she was more in man like uh, managing uh, student system information and stuff like that, but she also um, she did a lot of what I did. She had the, the IT background and uh, you know fixing, troubleshooting, uh, networking, servers, and things like that. And where would you say you you were when you started in this position with her and, and like your um, capacities to fulfill the role that you yeah, were in? Yeah, so it was all new to me. Um, 
when I got that position, I was one person managing six schools and the, all the devices and, and the users. Um, so that was, that was a very overwhelming. You know, it was very overwhelming at first. So um, she, I, I, I was able to turn to her for many, many questions and any assistance that I needed. And I didn't think twice about it, didn't hesitate about it. I knew, I knew that she would have the answers or together we would figure out what those answers were. And can you imagine what it would have been like to be in that role where you weren't necessarily as prepared as you wanted or needed to be without her? No, I'd be screwed. I really would have been screwed. Like she was the lifesaver for sure. She's kind of pivotal to she was. that and step and yeah. you're not falling off the boat then. Oh yeah, yeah. She, I mean, she taught me a lot along the way and she shared a lot, of, a lot of her experiences with me, and I, you know, I've interviewed her on this channel, and we talked specifically about, you know, women and being in IT, and you know what she's ha had to deal with. Um, so that, like, you know, e even be before I did the interview with her for this channel, I, I knew all this, you know, but it, it's just really eye-opening to see that because she's very successful. You know, she's very su su successful in what she does and you know what she's looking to do and she i just found out the other day that she's going uh taking another class in school right now um in vmware which i'm really excited about i'm really excited for her. but you know she uh she definitely gave me a lot of encouragement in and what i was doing and a lot of confidence and i didn't have a lot of that back then i i would say i had like little to no confidence in what i was doing but uh she always just reassured me Every step of the way. And I can tell you, you know, not to make this about me, but from my personal experience and the job roles I've taken, many times women have been the best in leadership roles that I've ever had to work for. Um, and I, uh, I owe a lot of my career to women in leadership roles. And to see this deficit of women participating in this particular industry that we want everyone to be successful in, if they don't get started now, there's going to be a deficit of women in leadership roles in these technology fields upcoming that could be great coaches and leaders to the you know the next generation coming up that, that needs to have that encouragement and see that that could be happening. And, and, it, well, it, and it, it can happen because the, the role that I took directly after that position I was working with Catherine at, uh, my manager was a woman. Right. You know, and she was great. Right. You know, it was, it's, just, it's one of those things for me that I never thought about. Like I never, you know, I never put a lot of thought into it because it's all, it's all that I've been used to. It's all that, you know, I've known. Um, so like I said earlier, like as I started learning all this stuff and diving deeper into the entire kind of IT field and seeing different people's perspectives, it was really a shock to me. You know, and that goes to say, um your, your experience in the industry has been a lot different than that of what, you know, numbers and statistics across the country and even the world, obviously, would prove to be true. And because your experience was different, it, it did cast a different light on it. Yeah. But I think it also puts you in a very specific position of knowing and believing that this is possible, not just because it should be, but because you've seen it work. Yeah. Yeah, like it's every single IT job that I've held, there's been multiple women in the IT department. So it, it, that's all that I know. Like I said, it's all that I know. Right. It's, it, right. So it, it's when I hear people comment on this stuff and I, and I see the comments that I get about it, it's so upsetting to me. And so we know, you know, what your experience here has been working in the field and, and how important it is for you to have had women working with you in IT and that's been an important part of your success in the industry um, and we know that you know you have found out that there is this disparity um, mm -hmm. of representation of women versus men in the industry and I guess what the question we have now is what is it that you want to do about that what what do you want to do to um, participate is your role in an advocate of um, people working in careers in IT I'll be developing more content around encouraging more women to get in this field and interviewing more women for this channel who can share their stories and encouragement as well. But I want to reach you know, women who are 
looking to start a career, change careers, and you know help point them in the path of, of IT if that could be something of interest to them. So that's where the sponsorship comes into play, where I'm looking to um, provide and help, I guess, help provide some of the resources for them to go down that path. So I'm going to pay for a subscription to a training platform, so an online training platform, so that they can get certified in one of the CompTIA certifications. So I will pay for their their the training platform costs. I will pay for their certification as well, and I will help them along the way uh, the best that I possibly can. And I hope to do that more. I hope to, you know this is like a, a, a kind of a trial run right now, but I'm hoping that. Um, through the area that I live in, that this can be more, it can happen a lot more often. Right. I want it to be ongoing. I don't want it to just be a one-off thing. I want it to, this to keep going. And I'd actually, you know, I, I'd, I'd want to venture that off e e even further, you know, and get more, um, like, teenagers and stuff who are interested in this as well. Um, then the encouragement is to do this as well. You know, and I think this could be, be said that this is um, a case of, uh, you can tell me so much, but in the end, the, the thing that really makes a difference is when you show me. Right. And if we can find women that are interested in participating in an IT career that maybe hadn't thought of it before, and or already are, but are looking to advance their career in a way that hasn't been available to them yet, we want to engage them. We want to talk to them about what their challenges are, what their aspirations are, and help try to do our best to find a path forward for them so they can move on and find out if a career in IT is right for them, give them the chance of learning more about it where they might not have had access to it before, and or show them the next steps and, and give them the encouragement to challenge themselves in the scope of their existing technological knowledge and prove it through certain certifications and help use that as a tool to help them get over that next that next hurdle and, and take that next step forward and, and elevate themselves in their careers. Yeah. And if we can do that with someone here locally that we can talk to, then we can show you guys, we can show the audience that it's possible, there's, there's nothing special about it, it's just a matter of the will and the confidence to, to, to go right. forward. Um, and that hopefully will encourage the next one and the next one and kind of bring more and more people that wouldn't have taken those steps because they hadn't seen it done for the knowledge and the confidence that they need to, to try for themselves. Yeah. yeah. I hope uh, I hope this works and I mean I'm really looking forward to it. I don't have any doubt about it. Yeah. No, it's going to be great. I've already had a few people who who showed interest so I'm really excited to move forward on this and and keep keep going with this. Yeah. Keep this kind of momentum and this, this the encouragement moving. I, I am as well. I'm excited to see you kind of grow the community and, and bring more people into the work you're doing here and see that it's not just you um, and uh, it's not just people that are different than that, that everybody can be involved in this and, and the audience and the community that, that watches and participates with us that they, uh, they see that they too themselves can do what they need to to help themselves get advantages in their careers, whether it be the career they're in now to change in IT or the IT career they have and, and how to grow it and, and move forward. Yep, absolutely. I look forward to it. So stay tuned because a lot of uh, a lot of exciting things are happening. Thanks guys. Thank you. Take it easy. <laughs>